Hi there. This is Professor S. M. Hadi of the Department of Biochemistry, Aligarh Muslim University, Aligarh, India. This video is a commentary on our recently published paper in F1000 Research. The paper deals with a novel anti-cancer mechanism of plant polyphenols that involves mobilization of endogenous copper ions and the consequent pro-oxidant cell depth. The two other colleagues who have collaborated with me on this paper are Dr. Asfares Azmi and Prof. Fazlul Sarkar of the Wayne State University School of Medicine, Detroit, Michigan, USA. Before discussing the results and their significance, I believe it is important that I provide some perspective to this work. Plant-derived polyphenolic compounds such as flavonoids, curcuminoids, gallocatechins, etc. are important components of human diet and are considered to possess chemopreventive property, chemopreventive and therapeutic properties against cancer. They are recognized as naturally occurring antioxidants but also act as pro-oxidants, catalyzing DNA degradation in the presence of metal ions such as copper. Copper is an important metal ion present in chromatin and is closely associated with DNA bases. Of particular interest is the observation that these polyphenols induce cell death in various cancer cell lines but not in normal cells. It was shown long back that copper levels are considerably elevated in serum and affected tissues of cancer patients. More than a decade back, we had proposed that it is the mobilization of elevated copper levels in cancer cells and consequent pro-oxidant degradation of cellular DNA that accounts for their anti-cancer properties. Over the years, we have proceeded to validate our hypothesis with considerable success. In addition to anti-cancer properties, Plant polyphenols also exhibit various other pharmacological properties such as anti-cardiovascular disease action and anti-inflammatory properties. Since they were known to be antioxidants, their anti-cancer effects were also attributed to their antioxidant action. Consequently, the pro-oxidant anti-cancer activity of plant polyphenols remained underappreciated. To begin with, we characterized an in vitro reaction between polyphenols copper 2 and DNA and showed that polyphenol copper 2 system is indeed capable of causing DNA degradation in a cellular system. In the course of further studies, we have established that polyphenols are capable of mobilizing endogenous copper ions from the cell nucleus leading to generation of reactive oxygen species such as the hydroxyl radical which is responsible for DNA breakage. We have further shown that polyphenol induced growth inhibition in breast cancer and other cell lines is inhibited by copper chelators whereas iron and zinc chelators are ineffective. Finally, in a rat model we have demonstrated that copper overload in cells leads to increased cellular DNA degradation by plant polyphenols. The mechanism proposed by us is essentially an alternative non-enzymatic and copper dependent pathway for the cytotoxic action of polyphenols that are capable of mobilizing and reducing copper bound to chromatin. The reoxidation of copper 1 in the presence of molecular oxygen in a pentantype reaction leads to the formation of reactive oxygen species. Several studies have indicated that apoptosis induction by plant polyphenols and other anti-cancer agents is independent of caspases and mitochondria. 
and is accompanied by an increase in the concentration of intracellular reactive oxygen species. As mentioned, our hypothesis is based on polyphenols mobilizing chromatin-bound copper which is redox cycled and which in turn leads to formation of reactive oxygen. This is also in concurrence with the idea that because of its extreme reactivity, the hydroxyl radical must be produced in the vicinity of DNA in order to cause its cleavage. Since cancer cell lines are known to contain elevated levels of copper, they may be more subject to electron transfer with polyphenols, leading to reduction of copper and oxidation of polyphenols. This accounts for the fact that normal cells are refractory to the action of polyphenols and the cytotoxic action is directed towards cancer cells only. Indeed, there are a number of studies where the cytotoxic concentrations of polyphenols required for cancer cells is shown to, to be up to 10 times lower than that for normal cells. In other studies, polyphenols have also been shown to possess therapeutic activity where regression of tumors in animal models have been shown. The chemopreventive anti-cancer properties of plant polyphenols can be ascribed to their anti-cancer, to their antioxidant action as they are able to scavenge oxygen radicals, thus preventing DNA erect formation. However, the therapeutic properties of polyphenols cannot be attributed to such an action. The mechanism proposed by us would explain both the chemopreventive as well as therapeutic properties of plant polyphenols. We believe that the mechanism proposed by us is a common mechanism which better explains the anti-cancer effects of polyphenols with diverse chemical structures as also the preferential cytotoxicity towards cancer cells. Further, our studies are expected to establish a principle which could then be used to synthesize novel anti-cancer drugs using polyphenols as lead compounds. Finally, as James Watson in a recent article published in January 2013 issue of Open Biology has pointed out there is increasing realization that many anti-cancer agents that directly kill cancer cells work through the generation of reactive oxygen species that block key steps in the cell cycle. He also mentions that a common reactive oxygen species mediated pathway through which almost all anti-cancer agents induce apoptosis explains why cancer cells that become resistant to chemotherapeutic control become equally resistant to ionizing therapy.